Yeah, well, you know, Arkansas's got a really good team. Uh, Sam's done a great job there. They're very well coached, uh, very much improved and playing really, really well. Quarterback is does a great job for him. Um, run and pass. Um, Burks is a great receiver. Um, they got a good running game. They run the ball effectively. Um, their defense really plays, you know, physical. They're tough. They, you know, got a little different scheme. So a lot of challenges for us this week. But, um, you know, we're, we're working on trying to get it right. We'll begin with Bob Holt from the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Uh, hey, hey, Nick, how you doing? Um, good, Bob. Uh, I was wondering what you thought of the season Will Anderson's putting together and maybe where that ranks with all the great defensive players you've coached over the years. Well, I don't like to compare players, but, you know, Will certainly, you know, done a great job for us. He's very productive, plays hard. He's a good leader. He's got some pass rush abilities, very instinctive. And uh, I think, you know, his production sort of reflects all that. So, um, he sure is a pleasure to have on the team, I can tell you that. And uh, he is a, an outstanding player. Next is Brett Martell, the Associated Press. Morning, Coach. Uh, just as someone who's got a defensive background, and uh, I, don't, I don't know how you feel about that cliche defense wins championships, but to what extent, if any, do you see any significance in the teams playing the best defense this year in the SEC being or having the most success in the SEC? Um, you know, I think every team is different. Uh, I think if you look at, you know, who wins, you know, sometimes people win running wishbone. Sometimes they win running a run and shoot. Uh, sometimes teams that have a dominant defensive team can um, win because of their defense and the way their offense plays. So uh, I, I don't I don't know that in this day and age of football, I think you have to play good defense uh, to give yourself a chance to win. Uh, try to keep from getting beat before you actually do win the game. Uh, but I also think a lot of the most successful programs have, lately at least, um, you know, score a lot of points. So. Um, I, I think I don't think there's a set formula anymore for who has the best chance to win, uh, but I do think playing good defense certainly contributes to it in a positive way. Good, thanks. Next is Nathan Baird at Cleveland.com. Junior and the, the turnaround that they've had at Michigan State this season. I was curious, can you have an example of a time when he helped solve a problem for one of your teams or maybe helped it achieve something that it previously hadn't achieved or had some other kind of a breakthrough that he helped sort of spearhead? You're talking about Mel? Yeah. Mel Tucker? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, Mel is a very bright guy, very positive in a lot of ways. Guy has great energy and enthusiasm. The players relate well to him. Um, I, I can't. You know, he's contributed in so many ways when he was on our staff. Um, I can't really specifically, you know, point out one thing, but I think one of the best attributes Mel has is, you know, players want to play for him. Um, they, they, they enjoy being around him. Uh, his energy and enthusiasm is sort of uplifting to everybody. So, um, you know, sometimes that gets overlooked because of the techno aspects of the game, but I think it's one of the most important things you can have is players want to play for you. Thanks. Next is Tom Murphy, the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Preston played against you guys a little bit last year. Now that he's got a lot more tape under his belt, what, what have you seen in terms of maybe his improvement uh, in these 10 games as a starter? Uh, you're talking about K.J. Jefferson. You guys are cutting That's out right. at the beginning, so I don't want to make a mistake. No, I, I think, yeah. you know, he's obviously, you know, when he played last year, he was very athletic and um, obviously made good plays. But I think as a starter, uh, they've been able to feature the things that he can do really, really well. And I think he's made tremendous progress as a passer.
passer, um, knowledge of the offense and his ability to execute and do the things they need him to do to be effective, you know, in terms of distributing the ball, whether it's run or pass. Um, and, you know, the guy's a big, strong guard guy. He's hard to sack. Um, he's extended plays and made plays and running and throwing. So um, he's a very challenging guy to, you know, try to defend. You mentioned in your opening that Arkansas is a much better team. What is it about them under Sam Pittman you think that's led to this? Well, I think they play with great intangibles. You know, they got they play with great effort. They've got great toughness. They're disciplined in terms of how they execute what they do. Um, and, you know, their, their players have all improved. A lot of these players, you know, played last year. The offensive line is better. Uh, they've got some really good, you know, Burks is a really good player. Uh, Runner's a good player. Uh, defensively, they, you know, play a great team together scheme. Um, everybody knows what they're doing. They do a good job of it. They execute well. They play hard. They're tough. Uh, and they play the same way on special teams. So um, if they're, you know, they've got better players, um, some of them are just better from being in the program and improving and developing, which is always a sign of a, a good coach. But I think also they play with great intangibles. Okay, appreciate it. Next is AP Stedham with WHEP. Uh, good morning, Coach. Uh, good morning. Coach, uh, how, do you, how do you guard a physical receiver like Burks of Arkansas and then how do you improve as a passer against the Blitz? Um, well, interesting. Uh, I, I think, you know, first of all, if you're a passer, um, any quarterback, um, you have to understand what your pass protection is. And um, the whole offensive team has to understand what the pass protection is. And, you know, sometimes they can bring them on more than you can block. And... Obviously, the receiver needs to know that. The quarterback needs to know that. You need to get the ball out. And, um, you know, so I, I think it's just overall understanding uh, of how the protection works and uh, where you're protected and when you're not protected uh, and when you can hold the ball and when you can't hold the ball. So um, I would say that's probably the basic, um, most important thing about pass protection. And um, what was your first part of your question? Uh, the first part was how do you go oh, physical receiver? Oh. Yes. Well, it's it's difficult because you know he is a physical mismatch. He's bigger than most of the guys that are trying to guard him. You know, it's kind of like a point guard trying to cover a power forward type guy who can run fast. Um, you know, sometimes those mismatches are difficult. So. Um, and um, so that's the challenge in the game, uh, how you do it. The players got to play great technique, and they got to understand um, you got to play big against a guy like that. And that's, you know, difficult to do sometimes because he's a big guy that plays big. Thank you very much, Coach. That's all of our time, Coach. Thank you. All right. Thank you.